traveling, exploring, and learning on the road. Bum and Spam the Road Trip. Leavenworth. We found this lady welcoming us. It might be backwards, who knows. But we came to check out the town for the day. And look what's over there. And it's me and all six kids. We brought Brandon along with us and all the kids. And we're going to check it out and see what we see. Let's go! It is cold. It's like 31 degrees or something here. So we're bundled up. What do you think, Em? I don't know. You don't know? Is it fun? No. You want to go have some fun? You want me to let go? You're going to fall. He <laughs> wants me to let go. Don't let go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, go walk up. Walk up. Walk up. What shop did you guys find? Sellers. What do they sell in no. there? Wine. No. wine. Who wants some wine? But even if it has your name on it? We can get some for that though. You think? Yeah. What do you think, Em? Uh, no? Alright, Brennan came along to take pictures. We brought two tourists along with us today. Oh, they're checking out the wine shop. What are you boys looking at? Is that cool? Not really. Then why do you keep staring at it? You didn't eat lunch? I think I even have a video of you eating lunch while you were on a sled. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you did eat lunch. Well, we need a snack. Where did we find him? Did we find the candy store? Yeah. Yeah. Take out. Take out. What do you think of this store? Uh, sugary. It is a candy store. Warm. Oh, Every painted taffy you could ever want. What'd you find now? <laughs> there are some superheroes. Alright, it's cold out, but they've got heaters here. There, downstairs there's fire, upstairs there's heaters. Brandon's getting pictures of the town. We're at a restaurant. Brandon got himself a brat. Can't come to the Bavarian town without a brat, huh? Oh, and it's ready. His timer's going off. Yeah, we'll give it to Brandon. He was sitting here, turn it on, turn it on. <laughs> it He's off to get it. I mean, knows the button to control that heater. Alright, what's the coolest thing you guys have seen so far? Because you have no money? Yes, and plus there's candy all around us and we know that we don't get to eat a single bit of it. That's all right, that's where we got the brats. Well, one brat anyway. And this is the whole town. You can see all the lights. It's starting to get dark enough to see the lights. We've got about an hour till Santa shows up. So we're going to go check out some more of these shops. The hat shop and the wood shop. They've got some cool looking stuff in there, huh? Toys. Look at that. Toys. They sell toys. Mainly puzzles. Oh, there's the hat shop. Look at all those. 
different kinds of hats. Alright, this store's got some cool looking stuff. Our kids are trying to buy a newspaper. Look at this, look at this, it's a pretzel shop. Look, it's a pretzel shop. And look how they decorated their Christmas tree with pretzels for the birds to eat. And a pretzel on top. We found the Nutcracker Museum. We gotta pay to go in. Do we? Yes. Oh, we do. What do you have to pay? Alright, so we found the admission rates of the Nutcracker Museum, and we're gonna skip that. But it says they have 5,000 different types of nutcrackers. We'll check out the store. <laughs> the middle one's dug. There's a lot of different kinds of nutcrackers. We don't have to pay to see these ones. Squatch gnome, ninja, lazy gnome, gnome land security. It's Star Wars. Check out the cheesemonger shop. We're hoping it smells better than the fromagerie that we went to in Canada. Try some cheese, garlic cheddar. Make a really good yeah, garlic cheddar. Garlic cheddar. How was it? That make a real good. good. That'll make a good grilled cheese. Mom, you should get that sort of cheese. All right, it's, it's getting dark. All the lights are lit up. That's where Santa's gonna be in the park, and we got the best parking spot here, right here next to the park. Lots of people are walking with all the lights lit up. It's gorgeous out here, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. What cool stuff have you seen? Have you seen candy? Yeah. Yeah, and you got to try some cheese? Yeah. Yeah, and what else have you seen? Are you having a good day? Yeah. Yeah, what else do you want to see? I think Santa's coming soon. Did you want to see Santa? No. No? You don't like Santa, do you? Your brothers want to see Santa. I really do. Should we let brothers see Santa? No. No? We'll skip Santa? No, I want to see Santa. What do you want to do? I also want to sleep. You need a nap, don't you? No. Yes. No. One more song before I set a song. Uh, we're going to do, this is the Bavarian village after all, so we've had our Elvis song. We have to have at least one German song. This song is called O Tonnenbaum. 
which is usually translated as Oh, Christmas tree, that's actually not correct. Tannenbaum is fir tree. It's actually started off as a nature song in praise of the always green fir tree. And if it's you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not shout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, he's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh my gosh, guys, it worked! Look over here! Look who's coming into town! The horse-drawn carriage! Woo! It's St. Nicholas, everyone! Some golden pears to pass out to all the little good girls and boys. So all the good girls and boys come out down in front, okay? Santa Claus is coming. All right, come on, everybody down here, down in front. That's right. He's got a special story to tell. One that I know you may know, but it sounds special and better when he tells it. So here he comes. Oh, look out. There he is, everyone. Let's have a warm welcome for St. Nicholas. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Froelich Weihnachten which is Merry Christmas in German. I am St. Nicholas, and I was a bishop in Asia Minor back in the fourth century. After St. Nicholas died, he decided he died on December 6th, and after he died, he was declared a saint. And December 6th, was declared his feast day, the day that everyone would celebrate the saint. Tradition had it that from that day on, every December 6th, St. Nicholas would ride through town on his white horse and he would leave treats for all the good boys and girls in their shoes and in their stockings. They would put their shoes out on the steps or on the windowsill or at the foot of their bed. And they would hang their stockings up on the mantles. And they were in hopes that St. Nicholas would leave gold. But he left other treats, treats that they normally wouldn't get except at that time of the year. And today, The orange represents St. Nicholas's gold. Now, here in uh, Leavenworth, we're in the upper yeah. Wenatchee Valley. The lower Wenatchee Valley is famous for their apples, but upper here, up here in Leavenworth, we're famous for our pears. So tonight, I am going to be handing out gold wrapped pears to all the good boys and girls. And I see a lot out there. I sure hope I have enough. Pear. What'd you get, Em? A pear. Is it good? Yeah. It's good. Come on, I want to go over here. 
Santa?